Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhana Chuk. I am an MDS in Oral Pathology and today I will be sharing with you books that I recommend for BDS final year. Now BDS final year, it's a little hectic year because instead of three subjects, you have to study eight subjects. In first, second and third year of BDS, you usually uh, give examination for three subjects. But in final year, suddenly you have to give exams for eight subjects. So it's a little hectic, but there is a good point also. In final year, most of the subjects are the one that you will practice on the patient. So there is conservative dentistry, there is prosthodontics. These are subjects in which you will go to the uh, departments and you will do certain procedures on the patients. The questions in the theory are from these procedures only. Since you have done that thing, it's easy for you to explain and write it. For example, if I teach you verbally how to drive a car, and you have to explain it or write it in examination, it will be a little difficult for you. But if you know how to drive a car, if you drive a car every day, it will be very easy for you to explain somebody or write it in a paper, how to drive a car, what is an accelerator, what is a clutch. Same way in final year BDS, most of the uh, questions that are asked are procedural and these procedures you are doing in the department during your uh, practicals so it's if you uh, pay attention in your postings read whatever is asked by your teachers and apply these things during your practicals it will be easy for you to clear your final year examination now let's see what are the books that i recommend for final year bds there are eight subjects let's start with omdr that is oral medicine diagnosis and radiology in this, you have to buy book for oral medicine and oral radiology. The book that I recommend for oral medicine is Burkitt's. Now, it's a very good book. I myself read from this book. In this, things are explained and it's like a story. So, you it's uh, easy to connect with it. So, I really recommend this book, Burkitt's. Some people also prefer the book by Anil Gom. Now, that is also a very good book. In Anil Gom, most of the things are given point to point. So, if you are somebody who likes to read or it's easy for you to retain, if things are point to point, then you should go for Anil Gom. Or if you are somebody who likes to relate things and like, like to read and uh, in a story form that what is happening, why it is happening and then it's easier for you to retain, then definitely go for buckets. Then for oral radiology, there is a book called White and Furrow. Definitely, I'll recommend White and Furrow. It's a detailed book. Everything is given in a very nice manner and there are images, uh, radiographic images of all the lesions. So it will be easy for you to understand nicely. So definitely White and Furrow. So for OMDR, Burkitt's is the first choice. Second choice, Anil Gomes depends on your pattern of study. And for radiology, the book is White and Furrow. So next, let's see books for the subject oral surgery. So for oral surgery, I will recommend the book uh, S. M. Balaji. Now it's a very good book. Most of the topics are given in a very nice manner. Also oral surgery, you learn a lot during your postings. You learn about different types of forceps. You learn about uh, extraction, LA techniques. So if you attend the postings nicely, oral surgery, many things you will learn in the posting itself. But uh, regarding the books, the book that I recommend is uh, SM Balaji. Now there are certain topics that are given little, little short. For that, you can also go for Nilima Malik. So there are two books, SM Balaji or Nilima Malik. For reading about local anesthesia, there are certain handbooks for local anesthesia. You can refer to the one by Malamet or Monings. So for oral surgery, SM Balaji is the first choice. Then you can also refer to Nilima Malik for local anesthesia, Malamet or Monings you can refer. Coming to periodontics, the book that I recommend for periodontics is Carenza. Now Carenza, it's a standard book for perio and it's a very good book. Everything is given in detail and it's easy to retain because everything is relatable. So uh, definitely Carenza, but it's not a last moment book. You cannot open it at the last moment. There is one more book that is Shantipriya Reddy. 
it is more of note kind so if you like to read point to point uh, notes type of thing then you can also go for shanti priya reddy but to clear your concepts and have a in depth knowledge about the subject you should go for the textbook by karenza now coming to the subject pedodontics for pedodontics the book that i recommend and i have myself used it is shobha tandon so you should go for shobha tandon there are more books like nikhil marwa it is also a good book although i have not used it personally there's book by sg damle that is also a very book good book uh, you can go for either shobha tandon nikhil marwa or sg damle but i have personally used shobha tandon so i will recommend you using shobha tandon for pedodontics there are foreign author books like mcdonalds so for referring certain topics that you want to understand more nicely you can refer it from mcdonalds but for regular everyday reading of pedodontics you should go for shobha tandon now let's see the next subject that is prosthodontics for prosthodontics uh, there are different parts there is complete denture there is fixed partial denture and there is rpd that is removable partial denture either you can go for a single book or you can go for different books for all of these for complete denture the books that are recommended are voucher or sheldon uh, rinkler then for rpd the books that are recommended are mccracken's or stewards and for fpd the book that is recommended is schellenberg now there is another book nalla swami now this nalla swami has all of these things right although departments usually do not recommend this book but most of the students you will see having nalla swami what i used is i used nalla swami as my basic book in which there was everything right then for fpd i used schellenberg schellenberg is very good for fpd and i had one another book for complete denture it was a small book given by john j manapalil now i personally like this book and i read complete cd from that so there is a common book that is nalla swami then for individually for cd there is voucher or there is sheldon rinkler for fpd there is schellenberg and for rpd there is mccracken's or stewards what i recommend is nalla swami as your basic book then for cd i recommend john j manapalil and for fpd schellenberg now let's see the next subject that is conservative dentistry and endodontics now for conservative dentistry the book that is recommended by the department is students it's a very good book you should definitely go for it the second choice will be a book by nisha garg so between these two you can choose whatever you like then for uh, endodontics the book of choice is grossman everything is given in a very good manner now you will do rcts and all these procedures in your clinic so your concept should be clear so you should definitely go for grossman and again the second choice is nishagar so my recommended books for cons is student and for endodontics is grossman moving to the next subject that is orthodontics for orthodontics there are many books by foreign authors but the book that i read and i really liked it it has lots of colorful images and it's easy to understand so i will recommend you si balaji for orthodontics coming to the last subject that is uh, public health dentistry the book that is uh, recommended is soben peter you should definitely go for it all the topics are covered nicely in soben peter so for public health dentistry go for soben peter so these were all the books that are recommend for bds final year i hope this helps you and if you are anyone interested in dental videos do consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything Also it takes lots of effort to make such videos your one like can give me lots of encouragement so do like the video subscribe to my channel and keep watching thank you